Good morning everybody. Beautiful clear sky today. I don't know if you can see the moon up there. Uh, sun is shining on the solar panels from the side. It is early morning, nine o'clock in the morning, and you can see the sun is hitting them from the side. So uh, only two panels are connected. The one is defective. I have to replace the cable. And I will be adding another panel in series today with them to increase that power. So let's go on inside the shed and see what we're getting for power out of two batteries. Be right back. I mean, solar panels. Sorry about that. It's easier to correct my, my language than to uh, edit later. Uh, not so hot. We have three um, amps. At 14 volts. Oops, it dropped down to 2. Why? It must have been a little cloud passing by. We are sitting though at 13.8 volts, 13.9. It was 14 just a minute ago when I popped in here with 3 amps. So, eh, it's not anything to jump up and down about, but the batteries are not suffering. And they will be uh, kept charged. So that's good. Now we're going back up to 2.7 amps. And it is morning. And the sun is only hitting the panels on the side. Um, it's going to be really, really good sunlight here on our new homestead as compared to how it was in Pine Bush because I have a very large area free of trees. And I will be getting sunlight direct sunlight on the solar panels all day now. Already in the early morning hours I'm getting sunlight whereas in Pine Bush I didn't even get sunlight till about 11 in the morning. Um, especially with the leaves on the trees that was really bad. So I think we're gonna be good. I've got to build some solar panel frames and get these off the ground. I'm gonna mount them on wood frames and mount them properly. Uh, possibly adjustable. The angles at least will be adjustable. And I don't know, I, I'm not sure how I want to do this because I'm not pleased with seeing the panels. But I don't think it looks too bad. It's, they're out by the shed and um, when they're up on frames off the ground maybe it won't be so bad. Eventually I'd love to get them up on proper poles cemented in the ground but all that costs money and we don't have a lot of that so we'll be doing it bit by bit with time um, but the first step is to get these wired up and the next step is to get them off the ground so that'll come up pretty soon here payday's coming up in a, on the weekend all right guys still editing videos and working in the morning videos and comments but I just wanted to check the solar power and figured I'd bring you with me up oh, 3.7 amps and going up. So we're going to be okay. Got the old beast running. Uh, some of you may remember this is a machine I restored last year. It was uh, not spinning. The engine was seized up the mouse nests and there were other issues with it. And I turned the key on choked it, gave it some pulls, and it fired right up. So I'm going to start a garden already this year. Out here I've measured where it's going to be. It's 30 feet long by roughly the same, by about 25 feet. Oh, there's a chipmunk running away. I think his nest is down in here. The chipmunks out here in the country put a hole in the ground. I don't know where his nest is. No, I don't know where his hole is. They put holes straight in the ground. Anyway, uh, we're going to have issues with chipmunks this year. But I've got it staked out and measured where the garden's going to be. And I'm going to till it and then let it rest for a week and till it again. Uh, it's too early for planting here because we still get frost at night. So I'm going to get at it. So I got a, a square around the stakes. Um, the ground is softer here. I'm going to ask you guys, now I am clearly seeking advice and opinion, 
on the soil. Um, it might be good for growing. Tell me what you think. It's a very full of uh, organic material. There's a lot of moss. That's a mo ball of moss. Uh, there's a lot of moss in here and a lot of organic material. Very, very thick organic material. So my guess is this is going to be very fertile soil, but tell me what you think, guys. It's very soft, moist, and, th and spongy. Very spongy. See, I thought it was really sandy soil because you'll see spots like here where you see sand. But um, when you dig down, you get darker soil. So it's just in places. I don't know why. But um, let me know what you think, guys, if this is going to be a good growing medium for a garden. I know that potatoes, they say, will grow awesome around here. And uh, we're going to start planting potatoes soon. Give it a week, because I want to till twice. But look at this, look at this, guys. That's all the rocks I've got in that area. Huge difference from pine bush. I seriously do want your opinion, guys, and your advice on this soil. It looks to me like it's going to be good now that I've ripped into it. It's very, very spongy. So, all right, I'm going to get back to tilling. I'm going to finish this yard today. It's supposed to rain the next two days. I don't want to get it tilled up first. I got one time round on. Nani's washing clothes at the same time. It's going to rain the next two days, so she's taking advantage of the good weather. Uh, today is t-shirt weather, although it's only 55. It's sunny and not too windy, so it's great. So there's the garden plot. Uh, tilled one time. It's sandy soil, but it's very, I think loamy is the word. Very full of... Uh, full of natural organic materials. I'm starting to feel it might be a good garden here. I want to show you the rock pile that I got. Now those of you who watch me in Pine Bush will know that this is a joke in comparison. This is it. This is the rocks I pulled out of here just now. In Pine Bush I pulled out individual rocks bigger than this whole pile. This is great. Really nice to work here. Very, very nice to work this land. This didn't take long at all. So, I might extend it a little bit on the side. Melanie wants a swing under this tree. So, um, she doesn't want me to go any further over. So, um, I may, I'm definitely going to extend out on the side, well, I think I will. Out over here, I can come out further. Over. Eh, quite a bit actually. And then, I'm probably gonna run down and cut out a, a section over here. Because we do want to feed ourselves. We do want to produce enough food to feed ourselves for a year. And so, I'll probably be, oop, oh, there's a rock. I'll find a couple more rocks here and there as I walk around. Anyway, I'll probably be uh, planting little bits and pieces here and there as I go and extending and eh, whatever. Eh, there's a few rocks. Nothing really in compared to comparison to pine bush. I'm going to gather them all up and see what I can come up with as far as rocks out here. But very peaceful land. Very nice to work. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and come out and hit this another two more times yet today. And then uh, let it sit for a week. Just taking a short break from telling. Got the baby cat out. Baby cat! Come here. She's pretty outside. Hey, my baby. She's having a good time. Melanie's watching over here while I'm telling. Ow! No claws. Ow. She's so happy. Uh, 
Yeah, fuzzy. Oh, my baby cat. She loves it out here. She's so excited. She's so happy. No ticks to worry about here. So I'm um, just over halfway through on the second time around on tailing. The garden looks very small from here. 30 feet isn't very big. But it's a start. Now the uh, melons and vines, uh, cucumbers, melons, and vine type plants, I'm going to just put, um, I won't do it in the garden pot, I'll just put them in various places along the perimeter and uh, they'll grow. What I'll do is I'll sprout them from seed indoors and then once they, uh, she's all lovey, once they're started and they're ready to go out, I'll transplant them outside and um, put them like at the edges of the garden and let them just grow. Um, they can take up as much space as they want around the perimeter of the yard and stuff. And then I won't have to worry about tilling as much. I'll just maintain a little space until they get bigger. So that'll give me more space for like peas and beans, green beans and, and green peas we love very much here. And then uh, carrots and uh, uh, onions and garlic root vegetables like that and then oh baby she's so happy anyway corn corn is going to take a large chunk of space but I think I'll put it in that block over there in the L I'll put a bunch of rows of corn over there alright well when Melanie comes out I can go back to my tailing and she's going to take over watching baby cat we just don't want to risk because the collar I got her is temporary it's a stretchy collar I don't want to risk losing her. You're fuzzy. You're happy out here, aren't you? She's really happy. Somebody might ask me, why is Felix not out? Well, Felix doesn't want to be outside. He does not like the outside at all. No, baby. Say hi to everybody. And get you out from under my chair legs. Uh. Alright, guys. See you in a while. Till I ran out of gas, just as I was about to start a third round. So it wasn't meant to be. Uh, I just took it over and washed it with a garden hose. Happened to be a garden hose left behind. So I gave it a wash down and got a lot of filth off it. And that way it won't rust as bad or as soon. I plan on keeping my equipment clean all the time from now on. Everything I have here. And uh, keep it lubed up and maintained properly and it'll last me a lifetime. This is a good old machine. A lot stronger built than they are made now. The new ones are nothing like this. It's a good machine. So I had just begun a third sweep through, like I said. But I was going crossways. You can see I just had enough time for two ways, two rounds through. And just as I was going this way, I went around one way and came back and it ended right there. So that's fine. Let the ground rest and let the um, the uh, grass and stuff try to regroup and then I can kill it some more. It's gonna it's gonna try to regrow here and then I'll hit it again after a few days and just keep hitting it again and again. Oh, there's some that hasn't even been ripped up. Definitely I've got to hit it crossways. So, we'll get it. It'll take a little bit of time, but I'll get it tilled up deep. Right here is some hard tilling because the grass is thicker right here in this very spot. But it'll be good. Um, I had Melanie come over and uh, we were smelling the soil and it smells rich and fertile. I think it's going to be very good here.